Hi there, and welcome back to Kitten School. Okay, so you've taken your cat to the vet, and the vet said those dreaded words. Your cat needs medicine. I'm giving you pills. Everyone who has a cat knows giving a cat a pill is the pet owner equivalent of climbing Mount Everest. Really difficult, sometimes dangerous, and something that once you've done it and survived, you don't want to have to do again. Even for an expert, pilling a cat can be really hard. Now, I did a video about pilling a cat a few years ago, and to be honest, the cat that I was pilling, Batty, was a pretty laid back cat. He wasn't very difficult. But when my cat Sing Sing recently went to the vet and was put on thyroid medication twice a day, I was dealing with an entirely different kind of cat. At first I thought it would be easy to pill Sing Sing because the cat eats almost anything. He loves to eat and he usually eats really fast without thinking about it. So I got pill pockets, you know, those little mushy treats that you can stick a pill inside. And for the first few times, it worked. He gobbled it down, no problem. But then he learned that he could lick around the pill and eat the yummy treat and leave the pill. After that, I tried putting the pill in the pill pocket and then sticking it into his food bowl. And that worked for about three days until he realized that the pill was in the food and ate every single little bite of it, leaving only the little pink pill every time. So Sing Sing is going to have to be manually pilled. And let me show you how I do it. First, I dip the pill in a little bit of safflower oil. Then I kneel on the ground and I straddle Sing Sing between my knees so he can't wiggle. Then with my hands, I brace his head. I open his mouth by reaching into the corner of the mouth. And with the other hand, I slip the pill into his mouth, pushing it towards the back of the throat but I still hang on to him after this, and I hold his mouth shut and tilt his head back slightly without putting any pressure on the throat. You wanna allow the cat to swallow, but you wanna make sure they don't spit the pill out. Once you're sure the cat swallowed the pill, you can let him go and make sure you give him a treat. In this case, it's the empty pill pockets that didn't work in the first place, but Sing Sing loves the way they taste. Let's go over that again. A little bit of neutral oil, which not only lubricates the pill, but it also helps it stick to the tip of your finger, and that makes it easier to push the pill to the back of the cat's throat. Take that kitty, kneel on the floor, hold the cat firmly between your knees, tip the head back, use your finger to open the cat's mouth, push the pill as far back into the cat's mouth as you can go. Hold the mouth closed, make sure they swallow, give a treat, and there you go. Now, I know you can buy these kind of like catapult things that will launch the pill into the back of the cat's throat. I've never tried one of those. Let me know in the comments if you have and if you think I should try it. I just feel like the more you do this type of pilling, the easier it does get. If cats could make a top 10 list of things that they hate the most, taking pills would be at the top of that list. But it is a part of being a pet owner. And if you have a cat that needs pills, of course you want them to take them as directed by the vet. I really hope this video was helpful to you. Please let me know in the comments if you have any questions or comments. I do read them and I try to respond to all of them. And I just want to add, because I know people will ask, the oil that I use is safflower oil. It is safe for cats in small quantities. It's often the ingredient in hairball treats, but you could use olive oil, even a vegetable oil, any kind of neutral cooking oil that doesn't have any flavoring, spices, or garlic in it. Just plain oil. Now go forth and pill that cat. Thanks so much for watching. If you liked this video, be sure to pounce on that subscribe button and join the Kitten School family. Kitten School is the place to be. Subscribe now!